Hey, it's Mike from 424recording.com. Just wanted to give a quick update on the live stream tonight. I decided to upload this video instead as it's the 4th of July. So I hope that everybody's out there having fun, staying safe. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next week, same time, same place, uh, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. And right now, just enjoy this podcast episode that's coming out tomorrow with my buddy Sean, who uh, recorded the theme song for the channel. So it's a good one. And uh, here's a special sneak peek of what's going to be coming out tomorrow on the podcast. This podcast contains explicit language. Hello, and welcome to 424 Recording, a podcast about home studio and lo-fi recording. This week, we're taking off as it's July 4th here in the States. Uh, generally, Jay and I record the podcast on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. live on the YouTube live stream, uh, youtube.com slash 424recording. But this week, since it's a holiday, we decided to take a vacation from the stream. So I hope everybody's safe this uh, July 4th and look forward to seeing you guys next week. So in this podcast, I uh, decided to take a little bit of a left turn from our usual format. I had to sit down with my buddy, Sean Cunningham. He's a director out in LA who, I guess you could say he's a secret musician. He doesn't really do anything actively pursuing music, but he's constantly recording songs and, I don't know, he records them as therapy. But I was talking to him about uh, what he's going to do with all these tracks, and he had an interesting idea in terms of Instagram. Now that Instagram allows you to have longer videos, uh, he's talking about doing maybe some kind of music video slash 30 second, one minute long film that comes out along with his music as a way to get his music out there a little bit more. And in this conversation, we talked about that Instagram strategy, a little bit about Vimeo, which is an interesting platform for filmmakers. And uh, we just talked about creativity in general. So I had a lot of fun talking to him, and he's somebody I wish I could talk to more. And uh, I really hope you enjoy this conversation, and uh, let's check it out. So so tell me about what you've been doing with music lately. Um, so music is always like a, an on and off thing. I don't know. I... I it's it's sort of like a therapy for me. I'll, I'll sit down and record, and I've always like written songs, but I always I always write like half finished songs. Like they're not really flushed out. I don't know why. I think it's like I'm impatient. I write like a chorus, and I'm like, oh, this is really cool. I usually send it to you, and then you actually make a song out of it, which is a cool process. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> but um, I was thinking um. Because you've been it's doing this for like years, a man. I feel long like, or something. What's that again? I feel like you've been doing this for years. Like, pretty much that your whole... Yeah, I feel like I have. As long, I think you know, long, as long like, as I've known you, you've known kind of... From college, yeah. yeah it's this... like I've, we've always, you know, made songs and... Um, well, I mean, there's bands... my songs are around like a minute. It's weird. Right. I mean, there's, a, there's bands like Guided by Voices and, uh, you know, some other bands where they... Like especially, I don't know, that's the one that comes to mind where the the albums are like, you know, 20 tracks long and each song is maybe a minute and a half to 30 seconds. Like, why not just put something out? I love out? that, man. Yeah. Well, the thing with that, I think, is because... That's really it, cool. It's kind of like, um, it's like Mac DeMarco has, it. he's got like the two-minute songs down, like right. salad days, you know? Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say... There's just, really no bridge. Just, just make it as long as it needs to be, you know? I mean, I, I think that's also part of... I don't know. For me too, I've been running into that a lot lately. I mean, you know, all the songs I've been doing with "Be Cool Cowboy" are all, you know, I don't think any of them are much longer than like two minutes. And then when I try to do them over that, they just seem like, all right, there's too many choruses in this song now, you know, and it's too long. And who wants to hear yeah. this chorus again? Like, might, you might as well just hear the whole song again. Yeah, man, it's funny. I think when you listen to songs now, you know, a song like that you grew up listening to, like three and a half minutes or something. You're like this song feels like it's like 20 minutes long. Right. And I mean, when you when so weird. when you can pull it off, it, it works really well. I mean, one one thing I've been trying to do now is, I don't know, I've been working on a new song where I'm just gonna have like no repeating parts. I think I'm just gonna like just keep make just make it as long as it needs to be, and you know, just don't repeat any of the parts. Don't have like a pop structure, you know. Because I've been I've been hearing a lot of people, yeah. other people struggling with this too lately. I mean, I think partially too. It's uh, you know, it's to blame on technology because people's attention spans, like even our own attention span, is like an artist. I don't know. I feel like mine is diminished, and I don't know. Also, there's like the in the moment, yeah, in the moment too, man. It's like 
I think that's like the guided by voices thing. I think that, I think uh, Robert Pollard, uh, I think he was like a teacher. And I think the story is that he didn't have too much time to work on stuff. He would just like, after, you know, after school or whatever, or at night, he would just like sit down on his four track and bust out and bust out a track. And that was it. Capture lightning in a bottle and move on, you know? Yeah, man. I think that I totally relate to that because it's something that I tend to create stuff very quickly. Like I don't second guess it. Lyrics are usually off the cuff and I don't even really know what the song is as I'm making it. And it's, it's kind of fun. Like you just get lost in that. Well, that's and like... then listening to it later, I'm like, I don't even remember recording that. Cause it's like, I was in this kind of like blackout of just creating. Dude, that's amazing. I, I gotta, I gotta try to take a page out of your book there. That, Cause like I've been, <laughs> I mean, that's what you always tell me too, man. Cause I always send you tracks that I'm working on and stuff. And then, you know, you listen to the final version and you're like, dude, that first, that first version you sent me was the best one. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, one... I like your demos more usually. It's weird. Yeah. So I don't know, man. It's weird. It's like, I, I don't know. I've been trying to get my stuff set up so that I can just like sit down and create and then, you know, not think too much about it in post. Right. So it's like, I don't know, maybe if there's mm-hmm. a way to make those demos, I don't know, not more polished, but sometimes I wish that you know, because like the ones that I was doing and sending you, they were just they're just ones I recorded like on my computer microphone or something, you know, just to get the idea out. And then it's like, oh, well, that. Yeah, I- but sometimes that's like that. That even that sound is like pretty cool. Like recording on the iPhone, even there's something about those mics that yeah uh, are pretty awesome. I don't know. Like you can't get that from a, a, a really nice mic sometimes. Right. It's really strange. Yeah, it's 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 a. Uh... It's tricky, man. So, what what do you think is a good a good recommendation then? Just just record wherever you can, whenever you can, and and hope for the best. I think so. I don't know. I'm the, like, I really I want to make albums all the time. I'm like, oh, this is, this could be a cool kind of collection of songs. It's like a mood. It'd be great to sit down and do that album. But um, it's really hard to make time for that because I feel like once you put that time aside and it comes up, you're like not in the mood to do it. Yeah, or you're not something's not clicking. It's like, it's always for me, I think it's just, maybe it's like, um, I don't know, just uh, kind of convincing yourself that it's fun. Even You know, you don't have to feel like work. Like yeah. That. And I think it's, I think too, it's like for me uh, to go along with that is I need to block out like a huge amount of time and I think you just need a lot of time as a creative person, as an artist to work on what you want to work on. Because you never know when that inspiration yeah. is going to strike. So you kind of have to have just like long blocks of time in your schedule where you can just let things develop. And, you know, when you're feeling it, go for it. I mean, I've been trying to push through that wall. And I mean, I think maybe about 15% of the time that I do that, I come up with something really good. And maybe that's just also part of the process. You know, you can't be killing it 85 per- or like 100% of the time. It's like, you know, maybe one out of every four ideas I come up with is something that's really cool. So... I just try to blast out yeah. as, as many tracks as I can and stack them up. And, and then when I find one that I like or one that you send me that I like, I try to work on that one some more. Yeah, man. I think it's whatever um, you, kind of, you kind of have to take a break from it. Like you can record and then go back. I listen to old stuff and I'm like, man, right. that was a really cool song. Like I've been doing those that chords too. are really catchy and, you know, yeah, I have a whole, I have this little app. It, well, it doesn't work on my phone anymore since the, like the iOS updated, but it's like a, some Tascam, uh, you know, recorder, basically like a voice recorder. And I went through that the other night and I have like, there's gotta be like a hundred takes on there, tracks on there since 2016. Oh my God. <laughs> and I went through there the other That's night. Awesome. Yeah. And I was like, man, there's so many ideas here. And then the ones that like, cause I hadn't listened to that stuff for a while because my phone updated maybe a year ago. And I hadn't looked at the app. I wasn't able to look at the songs. And finally, I was able to dump them onto my computer. And I went through them all. And it's like, I have a whole album worth of stuff now out of those 100 tracks. That's pretty sick. And that's stuff I forgot about. Like you're saying, I recorded it in this moment. And when I hear it, it brings me back to when I did it. But it's awesome because now I have, I almost basically wrote an album over the past two years that I didn't uh, know that I wrote. And now I can go back and, you know, I'm probably, yeah. now I just need to schedule <laughs> out some time. You did do that. That's subconsciously. It's like that it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of the best tracks, like LA, you know, that was one I think I wrote after I came oh, to I love see that you. Track. Thanks, man. And it was like that was how I found it. It was on that voice recorder. And I just kinda did it one afternoon, didn't think too much of it. 
And then it was weird, like just having a couple months separation from that and then coming back to it, I was like, wow, this is this is something here. This is something really cool. I don't know. But it kind of seems like yeah. you need to plant like a bunch of seeds and then, you know, just come back to them and see see what see what they are when you come back. I don't know. Yeah, you can't see it right away. Exactly. I, I kind of like look back at work. Even some of my film stuff, I'll look, I'll look back and, and be like, oh, that's kind of good, but I hated it right when I made it. You know, it's weird. I noticed that about the, um, well, that's something we should mention is that you, so you're like a director, right? Like what you, what you yeah, do? Yeah, I do. I was doing commercials and then, you know, slowly started doing short films and I finally made a feature, my first feature last fall nice, called man. Hudson. I'm going to plug that. Yeah, dude. I'm excited for that to come <laughs> but, out. Um, yeah, it's going to be cool, man. We're still working on it in post-production, but um, the rough cut looks good. And yeah, so I, that's mostly, I guess I'm mainly, I do that for, for money and career, but music has always, you know, kind of been there well, that's... to fall back on, I guess. Yeah, and that's, that's two things I think is super interesting because um, I think you're like an incredible musician, but yet you don't really pursue it actively or you're not like, oh, I need to go play shows or I want to go like, you know, do this and do that. You're just kind of like, yeah, I enjoy doing this. It's more of an outlet. Whereas for me, you know, I'm, I'm, I probably have more of an unhealthy relationship with it for a while. And it was like, oh, I got to try to do something with this and I want to do something with this. And, you know, and then the other thing is like with those short films that you have, um, that's what I noticed too. I noticed you guys have been plugging those a little bit. There's that one um, Ruby in the Sea that I had that track on. That's a perfect example too, because the, the track that you put in the movie or the film was one that I did on my phone, I think. And you were like, this is the one. And I was like, really? <laughs> it's like a demo, but I love it. Yeah, love it. that's what's so hilarious too, is that the final version was completely different and a completely different sound. And uh, that's actually funny that ties in. And But that's what I noticed about the films that you guys have been doing is I hadn't really seen them either since you sent them to me when you did them probably. And uh, I saw that thing you put out with Greg recently too, the uh, American person in London. That That's, yeah, that's hilarious. Oh my God. Dude, yeah, it's and it's funny, like, man. It's like six years old, but it's I I forgot about it. And Greg, I was at Greg's last night, and he's like, "Oh, we gotta." We kind of watched it, and we're like, "Let's release this, man. This is funny." You guys gotta just put that stuff out, man. Like, I mean, I know you put it out in some capacity, but like, that's what I've been trying to tell we you. We really don't enough, though. I think you're right. We don't put out. We make so much stuff. I know, and that's... I put out probably like ten percent of it. I know, and, it, and it's just funny because, uh, like, Ruby in the Sea, too, and, and then that clip from that, I was like, man, this stuff's great. You know, maybe that's something that it took some time for you to um, realize that it was great. And I, I just put it out, man, because people could be enjoying that. You know, people listening to this could prob- uh, could enjoy that. And I sent it out to all the people, like Ruby in the Sea. I, I hope a bunch of people check that out on the Instagram and stuff. And you can oh, check it cool. out. Thanks, man. Yeah, at four two four recording, you can you can find the um, oops, I just dropped something. You can find the, uh, <laughs> the link there. So I don't know, just, just it's it's cool, man. I, I I wish that you had. I I've been trying to get Sean to. Uh, I've been trying to get you to do like a YouTube channel, man. I think I think you should find all your old stuff and slowly oh, put it man. out once a week. Put one up and uh, just get it out. I know you have it on Vimeo. Yeah, Vimeo has been more of, I don't know, I like it better for some reason. I like the platform better. It's like, there's a lot more filmmakers and short films. I really like narrative stuff still. I feel like I'm I'm becoming a dinosaur. Everyone likes really quick stories and quick things on their phone and everything, and I still enjoy yeah. slow-moving pieces, you know? Right. And I think, I'm not alone in that, but um, I think that's why Vimeo is more of like a... Um, I don't know, it's more like cinematic stuff, but YouTube has great stuff and it's way more popular. So yeah, and the thing is, you could still—I mean, maybe that's where your audience is, though. You know, like maybe Vimeo. I don't know too much about Vimeo as like a platform. It kind of seems like the platform of choice for uh, like filmmakers, uh, whereas YouTube is yeah, more, absolutely right. So, but I, I don't know, man. I, I would say just get it out wherever you can. You know, you could find people on there or there's people that are that want to know about your process like there's people and everybody listening to this there's people that want to know about your process too and it's like just get yourself out there and do stuff and you know i don't know i used to be such a perfectionist about it and i know that you're a perfectionist and that's why i've been trying to tell you yeah like, dude, I, dude i'm realizing that as you're talking i'm like i need to just put stuff out more it really doesn't matter people want to see a more candid side of you and that they're more interested in that because then they'll understand your work i feel like well, I think that goes back to like everything we were talking about with the music in this conversation too, man. It's like those those yeah. um, you know, those demos where you're just kind of doing it 
not thinking about it too much. Like in a way, those are like the candid versions of those tracks, you know, and a lot of times those are the most compelling versions of those songs, as we've been saying, you know, so. That makes sense, man. It's like you're, you're, you don't know what it is yet. You're kind of figuring it out. I think that's what's interesting about it for me. Yeah. And I I think that's. Sorry, I got like an ambulance driving back to the city right now. Oh, it's all good, man. We could wait. We could wait till this way. <laughs> um, but see, that's the whole thing, though, too, man. Or like, crazy. oh yeah, that's funny that you're back. You're back on the East Coast now after being a West Coast boy for a while. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. That's the thing, though, I man. Like, it, but yeah, nobody's gonna give a shit about that ambulance siren, you know. <laughs> it's like we could have been like, oh, the whole thing's fucking ruined now that this ambulance went ah, by. Start it's over. Like, it's like no, no, nobody cares, man. And that, that's the whole. That's the beauty of it. Is like, you know, I don't know if if like the conversation's great. Keep it raw. Yeah, and it's it's uh, you know, it's all about the content, man. It's all about the creation. So, I don't know. I I just yeah, I, I want to see you get your stuff out there a, a little bit more in terms of because uh, like I, all the stuff you put out in the past couple of weeks and uh, you've been digging back up. It's like amazing stuff. And uh, there's people that want to see yeah, it, man. I keep doing that. What's the so Vimeo? Do they have like a social aspect to that platform, or is it or is it more just kind of like ha, like I don't know how does it how does that work like in terms of there is um, the, seems... the biggest thing with Vimeo is like if you get a staff pick, so it's a very small staff, but um, they have like millions of of uploads every uh, like week or month or something. Wow. There's like a lot of filmmakers, so if the, if the staff picks your thing and they like it, they they go through a bunch of them they'll feature it on their main page as a staff pick. And then you get like thousands of views. Right. And you start to, you start to build a community there. People comment and then people, you know, you can get jobs from it. Um, so that kind of thing is cool. Everybody, everybody seems to want the staff pick these days. It's a popular thing. Right. So that's cool. That's well, they're kind of like a gatekeeper. Then they can say like, Oh, this one's great. And then they pump it out to like the Vimeo crowd. But is, yeah, is there like yeah. people actively like like going on Vimeo and like just searching and and watching stuff? Because like a lot of stuff is also private, right? Because a lot of the stuff you send me is like a private link that it's kind of, you know, you send it out to yeah. the company or you know it's whoever. Almost, it's like Vimeo is for like people who are like too scared to put everything out. It's yeah, like, that's what it sounds yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> because they, it's sort of your it's sort of your professional portfolio too. Like if you're a camera person or a director, you have like a reel. And then you have other stuff that you don't want clients to see. So it's like right, right. maybe your best pieces are up there. So it kind of works as like your business too. All right. It's, well, I mean, um, it sounds like then there's different types of content for that platform as with every social media platform. So, but I think, man, all those films you've done over the, over the course of your career and, and uh, that we used to do. And, you know, I think you should, I think you should put them all up, get them all out there. Uh, all right. Whatever you got, just <laughs> start a, ch- I mean, cause I, the thing is like, it sounds like, like you said, everybody's kind of waiting for the staff pick and, and, and like the, you know, them to, to pump it out. But like the beauty of YouTube and, and something I've discovered in the, over the course of doing the channel is like you, you can be your own uh, cheerleader, you know, you can be your own gatekeeper. I mean, you know, I'm not waiting for anybody to tell me like, oh, this is a great video. I'm just putting shit out, you know? So it's like, I don't know. There's a yeah, that is kind of freedom cool, to that, man. It's, it's, I mean, it's a lot more DIY, do it yourself, you know, but, um, you know, right. I feel like the world is but going cool. more some... toward that direction. You know, it's like if you if you got something that you want to put out and that you like and that's good, and like there's something about the internet that is uh, very democratic. You know, and uh, if people like it, they will uh, tell you. You know, if they don't like it, they'll tell you. And obviously, you can't go listening to everybody. <laughs> that's but, true. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, I, and that's and, that, and my point is like I think if you get your your films out there and get them up online and and into more people's living rooms and smartphones. I, I don't know, man. I think, I think people would know more about you and know more about you as a filmmaker. And I think people should know more about you as a filmmaker. And then here's the best part as a collateral damage to that. They will also find out about your music. Yeah, that's true. I do have to, I got to put the music up there. Like I wanted to do that Instagram thing. I thought that was a cool way to do it. Yeah, um, oh yeah. That's what we were going to talk about. So really quick. I mean, now with Instagram, what were you thinking? So now you have all these tracks that you stacked up over the years, all these like 30 yeah, second like, minute long tracks. Yeah. 
So what were you thinking think, about doing so, with So I was basically, I was like sitting around, I was listening to old tracks because I, I got into this kind of music mode where I was like, okay, I want to start recording again. And I, all these old tracks came out, but I was getting some inspiration. And I was like, a lot of these are so short and they have great little moments in them. And it's like hard to put them on a platform to share. And I was like, oh, Instagram's like a minute. You could do a little video or like, photo or something and people have time to like they'll see it click on it listen to it and it's like they don't have to sit and listen to your whole album it's like a great way to like kind of get your music out there or just get like the the vibe of it out there yeah and you could do it i'm gonna test it out yeah man i'm really excited to see when you start doing that so what what's your instagram what instagram you're going to put that up on so that's at the instagram handle is at sean director cool um <laughs> we're gonna hold you to this man we're gonna hold you to this this is coming out on uh thursday july 5th when are you gonna do the first one? Oh man i think uh maybe i'll maybe i'll release something this week you like should a fourth of july thing that would be cool because uh yeah I, I would love to see because uh i think that sounds like a really cool platform man as somebody who's uh for somebody like you that's uh you know like a film director and also a musician you can make some really cool shorts or uh you know music videos for your 30 second long minute long mi- videos and that that's that could be like a whole new um i don't know video or not like a whole new kind of piece of content or something you know a whole new genre of yeah, it's, uh, like, uh, it's like it's sort of a music video i kind of want to treat if i do videos like treat it like the song just go shoot stuff yeah whatever feels right and fits the track you know hell yeah that sounds that sounds like such a cool project man yeah, I'm excited about it. Just stay on me so I finish it. <laughs> Yo, definitely, man. And everybody listening to this, too, is going to be be following you, making sure that you're uh, on point with this, dude. I want to see you get this awesome. stuff out there, man, because you, so, you got so much stuff that sounds great that you sent me over the years. And uh, and also with the films, man, you got to get that, get that stuff out there. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. It's it's fun. I think it's like I'm my own worst critic, and it's, it's everybody, everybody relates to that, you know? Absolutely, um, man. Absolutely. Yeah, we gotta I'm get the work out. I'm still working on that, man. It's so. like I've been I've been running through some problems with that lately. I've been uh, just dragging my feet on a couple things that I've been trying to get done, and it's funny because I went through the period of of the past year and a half doing all the videos and stuff and putting stuff out like crazy, and uh, now I'm like, oh, I'm starting to get starting to slip back into my old old habit. I'm not really sure why. Yeah, I don't know. I'm it's starting to think to about it too much. Just I think. move forward. Yeah, exactly. You know? I know, and that's and that's. Uh, I need to take my own advice here a little bit too. So, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, dude. Cool, man. Well, I, I know that you got to get All going, right, man. I, I, on Fourth of July, yeah, I'm gonna get going. This is awesome, dude. That was so fun. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Anytime. I mean, I, that's why I wanted to give you uh, talk to you about the, in, especially the Instagram thing, man. That's so cool. Like, I haven't heard anybody doing anything like that, and uh, I don't know. I kind of want to try doing something like that too. You know, it sounds like fun. Yeah, I could like revolution here a little bit i don't know yeah dude this could be the this could be a podcast people look back and say oh yeah that that's uh that was uh before sean started putting out his music that was before anybody knew sean director <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing i love that hell yeah man it's, it's just shown the process you know i love it well, dude, it was nice chatting me. Thanks for having me on. Yo, dude, my pleasure. Thanks for uh, thanks for I know thanks for taking some time out of your busy life, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> I'm just driving around the city, all sweaty in my in my 1990 Volvo because there's no <laughs> AC. So this was it's, it's fun, man. That's took fun. took your mind off it a little <laughs> bit. So that was my conversation with Sean Cunningham. You can follow him on Instagram at Sean Director. And uh, let's hold him to that thing. I want to see him put out some videos, music videos on his Instagram, 30 second long, one minute long videos. I think that could be a really cool platform for him to get his stuff out there. You know, he does a lot of film stuff and uh, I don't know. I uh, I really hope that he uh, he starts putting some stuff out there. That would be cool. So thanks a lot, Sean. That was so much fun, man. And uh Yeah, look forward to seeing those vids, man. Let's do it. Hey, this is Mike from 424recording.com. Godspeed, my friends. Thank you for listening to episode three of the 424 Recording podcast. Uh, If you want to support the podcast, you can check out patreon.com slash 424recording. And, uh, you know, every little bit helps. So appreciate you, my friends. And uh, 
We'll catch you on the flip-flop, all right? Make sure you do something you want to do today. Peace.